So we have six and seven weeks to start off with a scrap of metal. We checked in with the South River High Power Hawks robotics team. <laughs> and basically it's playing basketball on an obstacle court. The game starts off with uh, two balls on each of these ramps. Mm -hmm. And so our robots start on the opposite side and there's a red alliance down here and a blue alliance over here. So what we're trying to do is basically score into these basketball hoops. We basically design the robot ahead of time before everyone builds it so that we can work out all the bugs and errors that would probably occur. I mean, not like uh, right here are rollers, mm -hmm. and basically what they do is they roll, and we have the the balls go in through here, and the rollers bring them up through this um, track over here, so they go up in a diagonal, and then they collect up here in this little hopper area. Now what this is, is this is our shooter. So we have a wheel here, these two wheels here, they spin really fast, and once the ball touches them, it just gets shot right, right out. Here is the shooter, as it spins, the ball comes up from the bottom and flies out the top. Oh, okay. And we can actually... It's just like, almost like a um, pitch machine pitch. pitch. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay. And there's a second hood that goes on it. So we can change the angle that this actually leaves the robot at. So we can change the distance and the height it reaches. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, so anywhere from 45 to 60 degrees, gotcha. we can have it through the robot. Uh, this is actually mounted on a Lazy Susan, so we can choose the angle without actually tweaking the entire robot as well. And you know the other big box? They're building the robot as part of Dean Kamen's first robotics competition. The 40 plus students on the team have six weeks to build a robot from scratch. They do everything from CAD, electrical, mechanical, drive, control, and animation. They also have a group of students who take care of marketing, billing, events, and spirit. This year, for our competition, we are allowed to use a Xbox Connect and control the robot that way during the autonomous period. Fun, so when you tell your mom you're really practicing playing the Xbox for something you really, you really are. Or sets out of this. These students really know their stuff. If you want to go to the motors, it goes through the two candles. We're working on implementing and designing an electrical system that will work with the um, robot that they've designed because they basically make all their stuff and we make all of the innards fit and work. We, we don't just restrict our recruitment only to STEM because if we did that, we would have the same sort of person. And since we're not a cookie cutter team, we want all the diverse skill sets that someone from any sort of passion can bring to the table. Okay. The, um... the competition, we're going to do two. One is March 5th through the 8th, and that's going to be Chesapeake Regional and Baltimore Convention Center. Cost. A fee, nope, no cost to the public. So if you wanted to come on those days just to check out what robotics is, you could wander into the convention totally. center and... Yeah. And what's your team? Do you have a Powerhawks team number or something yeah, that you're identified? Yeah, we're team 1111. <laughs> oh, that's easy to pe for people to remember. Exactly. Right. This is Mitchell Stevenson well, reporting for South River Source.